And you've got to admit, it has real character. I mean, it's efficient, too. You break one, you don't have to worry about replacing it. <laughs> well, what we got here is dishes with attitude. Yeah. Uh, look, I took a chance. I, I saw a wonderful opportunity here, so I bought a wagon load of this stuff. There's no obligation. If you don't like it, I can always unload it somewhere else. Yeah, I'll bet you can. No, I'm interested. If the price is right, you got a deal. What, are you joking? I told you I'd get your bargain. Now, if you want to throw in 5% commission, I'm not going to squawk about it. This isn't enough. It's plenty. I'm trying to forge a relationship with a prospective employer here. Well, look, I, I, I'm not making you any promises, Corbin. I mean, I, I, I'll definitely keep you in mind. Can't ask for more than that. All right, I'll get you a check. Hey, Central! Hello! Luke, did you Hey, hey, I'm on my way to the polls. Put away your whip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll see you tonight at the victory party. You're gonna get in trouble with Justice for saying that. What's that? I don't like to count my chickens. Oh, well. You know, caution is very admirable. I hope it extends to your newfound relative. The court of Maine. Yes. Look, I understand you had a conversation with Edward after the Kwanzaa ceremony. You know, his proposal for some kind of Charles Street Betterman Foundation. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. There's a sneaky crowd in this. Well, from the face of it, there's nothing that I can see wrong with the plan. Using Edward's real estate holdings in the neighborhood to form an area of subsidized local business is exactly what I'd like to see happen. If it smells fishy, look for the big fish. Yeah, well, Edward swears that it's uh, a peace offering to the community, but mostly to Granny May and me. A salve for his conscience? Yeah, he mentioned that. Ah, uh, maybe. You think there's more to it? Yeah, I do. Look, nobody in this clan, with the possible exception of Jason and maybe Lila, does anything without an ulterior motive. Particularly, a motive that translates into big bucks. I mean, these people would eat their young for a modest deposit in a Swiss bank account. And they have. So you patient. figure I'm next on the menu? Well, I just think that if you see them dragging a big pot toward the fire, make a hasty exit. And look, keep a close eye on Alan Jr. I know from personal experience, this is a budding, white-collar criminal. And Ruby concurs. She says he's got the instincts of a viper. Yeah, well, I got some of that bad boy blood myself. There you go. See, I'd like to hear that. You may have to fight fire with fire. Some of those uh, nasty genes just might come in handy. Well, I'm off to stuff the ballot box. Hey, 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 it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm out of my house. I'll see you at the victory party. Now, these are the accounts of the Grand K Islands for which the funds will flow. You'll have complete access. I right, use them all name because down there they prohibit disclosure. Exactly. That's why they do such good business. Any questions? It's a lot of money. It's just a drop in the bucket. I'm impressed. It should be enough for what I need. Yeah, well, I figured as much. Now, my contacts in the islands, how much do they know? As little as possible. As a matter of fact, at the moment, I'm the only one who knows the complete size. Very cagey. Wait, it's not that I don't trust you. Well, you don't trust me. Yet. Well, if things go well, we can discuss increasing your participation. Gradually. How do you want to handle the accounting? I have four people on that full time who uh, report directly to me. I can handle that. It's your money, right? <laughs> Otherwise, it's your operation. This is going to work out just fine. Who's there? Luke. Be cool. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Vote? <laughs> I believe you guys have met. Need help throwing them out? Don't trouble yourself. As a matter of fact, Spencer, I intend to make it a rule to steer clear of you from now on. Extend that rule to include my business partner. 
If I were you, I would make it a habit of letting him speak for you. Oh, and Spencer? What, what, what? I'd stick to decaf. You're, uh, you're obviously stressed out. What the hell's up, Sonny? You're setting anything up with Damien Smith. Our partnership is over. Finito. Hold your horse. Oh, you should oh, know that. Hold your horses, Luke. He just showed up here. I sure as hell didn't invite him. You let him in. I was curious. So am I. It, it turns out Frank's kid wants a piece of the action in Port Charles. He sees a window of opportunity with Bowling Gone and Edward Quartermain occupied on other fronts. So why has he come to you? He wants to become a major player at this capital. The old ball and chain disinherit him or something? Oh, well, he got a hefty chunk of change, but he wants more. Greedy, isn't he? He figured I might have a clue as to where Frank buried his loot. <laughs> Do you? I wish. Probably by a small country with it. And that's all he wanted. Look, I'm not about to compromise what we have going here. I gave you my word on that. You know, these questions are starting to make me wonder how seriously you take my word. You've given me no reason to doubt you so far. That's right. This would be a hell of a time to prove me wrong. About loops. Uh... What do you want to open the place? I'm ready to set a date. 